South Korea is designing a flood-proof city that can house 12,000 people and looks like a giant floating honeycomb. Busan Metropolitan City is the second largest city in South Korea and home to the country's largest port. As a coastal city, rising sea levels and climate change threaten its very existence. That's where Oceanics Busan, a floating city prototype, comes into play. The city is designed to float on a cluster of interconnected platforms and can produce their own energy, water and food without relying on the city's resources. The project was unveiled at the UN headquarters on April 26th and is expected to be completed in 2025. The depth of the platform provides a big space in the hull, almost like a basement that contains mostly air to counteract the forces of the weight of the buildings on top. This space also functions as a storage area for energy storage and waste management systems. As the water rises, the platforms can float and their foundations will also adapt to the water level, hence it is called flood proof. It's almost as if you are on land, even when you have the highest waves, which means when you have no waves, you actually don't feel it. Developers also intend to use the part of the platforms that are underwater to attract marine life and create coral reefs. Isn't that great? Other countries and companies have announced similar floating city plans in the past. For example, in 2019, Japanese engineering company Shimizu Corporation revealed that it was designing a floating city called the Green Float, which can withstand natural disasters like tsunamis and can house up to 40,000 people. In 2021, Maldives also announced plans to build a floating housing development in a lagoon near the capital. The government says construction on the project known as Maldives Floating City or MFC is expected to commence somewhere in 2022. These projects are a great initiative. Don't you think so? Let us know about your thoughts on this in the comment box below. See you in the next video. Bye.